초대해보자 네, 여러분을 초대했고요 um, 오늘 오신 분들은 스페셜 게스트가 있어요 He's from San Francisco His name is Mohan Kanengo and the director of programs and engagement at the Mission Asset Fund He flew all the way down from San Francisco to join us today Then we have Ju Hong who is the National AAPI Lava Collaborative Coordinator and also a beneficiary of the Living Circle when he was in San Francisco So um, without much much delay, I want to uh, turn it over to Mohan, who will kind of talk about the Mission Asset Fund and about the DACA lens. Good. So, uh, good afternoon. Um, my name is Mohan Kanango, and I work with Mission Asset Fund. Um, and we're based in San Francisco, as Jenny said, and we offer the Lending Circles for Dreamers program, which enables um, applicants for DACA to pay for the cost of their application. Um, as you know, that $465 that it costs is, um, is a barrier for many low-income families. And so Mission Asset Fund, as a nonprofit, wants to empower low-income communities um, and make it more affordable and accessible. Um, and what we're doing is offering a social loan. Um, and it's a social loan that's familiar to many to our communities. And the social loan empowers uh, these individuals to apply for DACA while also building their credit history and gaining the benefit of financial education. Um, and so we're really excited to partner with Korean Resource Center as we have for the past year um, to offer lending circles, but to offer lending circles for DACA specifically so that applicants can pay for that cost and also get a match. So we're excited to provide a, a match or a scholarship through support of the Roy and Patricia Disney Foundation. And this lowers the overall loan amount. And so um, the total amount that participants would pay is $310. And they get a $155 match um, while building their credit. Uh, we have spots for up to 70 participants. And so we're looking to you to get the word out in the community to let any Korean Americans eligible uh, for DACA know that there is the opportunity to receive financial assistance build their credit, and also increase their financial knowledge um, through the Lending Circles program. And Ju is going to share about his personal experience with the Lending Circle and also talk about the work that he does in the collaborative. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is my name is Ju Hong, and I'm the Outreach Coordinator for the API DACA Collaborative, uh, which is a national effort to coordinate um, outreach activities and legal services uh, to individuals eligible for DACA program. And the collaborative, uh, the overall goal is to increase application rates and establish high renewal rates for individuals from the Philippines, Korea, India, China, and Pakistan. And in the long term, uh, the collaborative hope to shift prevailing cultural attitudes on the plight of undocumented immigrants and increase community capacity to participate in immigration reform and strengthen the organizing skills for API youth and young adults. And I'm really here today to um, share my first-hand experience about the benefits of participating in the Lending Circle. Uh, but before that, I wanted to just briefly uh, tell you a little about, about my personal story and my background um, and how I got here. Um, I was born in South Korea and I came to the U.S. Uh, when I was 11 years old with, uh, with my mom and my older sister. And I did not know about my um, immigration status until senior year in high school while I was filling out my college application. Um, so for me, it's been a very um, roller coaster um, after finding out my immigration status. But fortunately, I found out about I got support from nonprofit organizations like Korean Research Center where I got uh, legal support and um, education around immigration and other possible remedies. And that's how I got plugged into uh, nonprofit organizations. And through their support, I was able to um, go to college and continue to active um, around immigration issues. Um, but prior, um, but even throughout, it's been very difficult as an undocumented immigrant um, to live in this country with, with many different challenges and obstacles. 
Uh, for, for example, um, as an undocumented immigrant, uh, we have a limited um, opportunities to, um, to get resources. And as a student, uh, we don't get financial aid and other uh, means to support, um, to attain college, to go to college. Um, so for us, it's been very difficult um, to navigate to uh, to attain higher education and continue to uh, provide support for ourselves and our family. Um, and, and it's been very difficult to live in a, uh, being an undocumented, in a, it's been very difficult because we have been, we have this constant fear of facing deportation and being the fact that we may get a separate from our family at any given period of time. Um, but fortunately in 2012, uh, after June 2012, the, announce, uh, uh, the announcement of DACA, you know, my life has completely changed dramatically um, because of DACA. Um, you know, I was able to do certain things that I couldn't do um, prior to DACA. Um, and now, because of DACA, as a recipient of DACA, I feel you know, much better focused on schoolwork and provide support for my family and continue to advocate for a broader immigration reform. And, and because of DACA, now I have the opportunity to work here in Korean Research Center as the API DACA Collaborative Coordinator. And recently, uh, through DACA, I was able to go back to South Korea for, for the first time in over 13 years. So uh, it's been very incredible opportunity for me uh, to get DACA. Um, but last year, um, I was my DACA uh, was getting expired, and I had to renew my DACA uh, application. Um, and I got all my uh, documentation ready and prepared, but uh, my main challenge uh, to renew my DACA was to get uh, DACA application fee, which was about $465. And as an undocumented immigrant like myself, it's, it's, it's very uh, expensive. Um, and you know, my, my mom, my single parent mother, and my sister couldn't really support me to pay for $465, and at the time around, um, I was paying for school, and um, just to um, just to pay for food on a daily basis. So it's, it's, it was very difficult to um, get that huge amount of get of $465, and so you know I got support from Mission Asset Fund, and I found this opportunity, and I applied for the Lending Circle, and it was. Because of the support of Mission Asset Fund and Lending Circle uh, program, I was able to get the $465, and I was able to apply for. I was able to renew my DACA on time and get the money uh, that I needed. And because of the part of the Lending Circle, I've, now I have um, high credit score and the financial knowledge. Um, that I didn't really uh, know about um, prior to apply for uh, the Lending Circle. So it's been a really incredible experience and I know that um, I couldn't apply for uh, DACA uh, without the support of Lending Circle. And so I really encourage other you know, Korean undocumented um, eligible community members to learn more about Mission Asset Fund and Lending Circle um, and really encourage them to apply as soon as possible.
465분이라는 돈을 마련하지 못해서 시간 맞춰서 못 하시는 분들이 많이 있어요. 그래서 모한 씨하고 미션 아셋 펀드에 있는 분들하고 파트너십을 we formed a partnership and we're now able to provide a no interest 없고 그리고 또한 financial education까지 포함해서 청소년들을 도와줄 수 있어서 너무 저희는 기쁘고요. 안주학교에는 알다시피 추방교에 신청하는 걸 도움을 주고 그리고 이제 원하시는 분들은 이 로운 프로그램도 저희들이 앞으로 계속 도와줄 수 있어요. 그래서 오늘서부터 이제 관심 있는 분들, 질문이 있는 분들은 여기 민주학교 전화해 주시고요. 그리고 이제 아플리케이션 시작하고 파이낸셜 에듀케이션에 대해서 저희들이 다 알려드리겠습니다. 인포메이션 여기고요. 혹시 다른 질문 있으세요? 랜딩 솔트 콜스가 론 회사예요? 아니면 프로그램 이름인 거예요? Is it a loan company or is it a program? It's a program. And it's a program that is provided by Mission Asset Fund, which is a non-profit organization. But this is a loan as well. Because as a non-profit, we're here to help the community. We've been around for over eight years, and we've actually helped over 600 dreamers apply for DACA through this program. So we see credit uh, building as um, important to increasing assets in this country, and it's something new for a lot of immigrant communities. We want to provide that opportunity to not just get the financial support, but also have that payment activity reported to the credit bureaus. So you have a room for 70 applicants? That's right. From the Korean communities? Mm -hmm. Total and we're offering this program actually th through two additional providers, nonprofits as well, the Mexican American Opportunity Foundation and the Filipino Workers Center. Um, and so we, we, our whole approach is, as a nonprofit is to realize the value that's brought by other nonprofits having a relationship in the community. And one thing that I'm personally committed to is really making an outreach to the API, the Asian American community, to encourage more DACA applicants to apply. So at CURC, PWC, that's part of why we, we're making this effort. Um, and we have these match funds to help provide an, an additional incentive. What happens to applicants who receive the uh, loan from your uh, lending circles program and ended up not getting renewed or getting uh, approved by the so that part I can assist with. Sure. In New York, we have a question for you. If you have any problems, or if you have any other immigrants, or if you have any evidence, you can help us with that. When do you have to pay back the loans? So the application process is very straightforward. You just pay back the loans. So the payment is for the loan. So for the social loan program, it's 46. It's normally $46.50 over 10 months. With this program, because of the match, it's $31 over 10 months. So that scholarship lowers the loan amount. So they only have to pay a total of 310. And they pay that back over a 10 month period. And so each month, Mission Asset Fund is reporting on that payment activity to TransUnion and Experian, which is two of the three major credit bureaus. Cool. 다카 프로그램을 신청하는 아프리칸 신청인들이 주로 그 로우인컴 패밀리가 많아서 이런 프로그램을 이용하는 거예요? 아니면 아무래도 그 서류 미비자들이라 좀 경제적으로 어려움이 많다고 하다 주홍 씨가 얘기한 거 같아요. 아세요? <웃음> Yeah, it's a couple of reasons. So, I mean, a little background on Mission Asset Fund. Um, when we were formed about eight years ago in the Mission District of San Francisco, we were created in order to help really serve this gap in the community. Because a lot of immigrant communities um, are, work are hardworking families, right? Um, but without access to financial services, they pay a lot more for the hard money that they've earned. Um, to cash a check, they have to go to a check casher, which charges a fee. If they can't take out a loan from a regular bank, it means they pay high interest from a payday lender. 
And so we wanted to build on this familiar concept of you know, social loans that the community was already doing, right? Uh, it's a concept that I learned about in college, first in the context of the Korean American community, as a way to help people immigrate, immigrate, pay for, say, purchasing a business. It's how we come together to support each other. So we wanted to build on that concept so that you know it, it takes what people are already doing, formalizes it so that they can get the credit building benefit. Um, and obviously, you know, we're targeting immigrant communities because they're newer to the financial system, um, and um, also because there's it, you are in a catch-22. They say, right? Without credit, how do you build credit? Um, and so this is a valuable opportunity for somebody who does need a financial assistance that can't get the money all together. It's a great opportunity for somebody who's just interested in building their credit on a zero-interest basis. Um, and it's, it's an opportunity to build community, right? And that's how, we're, how what we're doing is different. It's, it's about dreamers coming together and building a sense of community around this, this shared purpose. Bank account to manage it, then I the credit is an concept that I don't if you want to build the future here, you need to learn about what the benefit is for credit and how to use it and how to grow your credit score. 그런 그런 것도 다 포함해서 참 좋은 기회인 것 같아요. 더 질문 있나요? Any more questions? 만약에 론 받은 다음에 페이먼트를 못하게 될 경우에. So, great question. So, overall, Mission Asset Fund has had a default rate close to 1%, uh, which is tremendous, because when you look at traditional lenders, it's, it's much higher than that. And the main distinction um, is that, you know, people build that sense of community where they understand that, you know, my, me repaying on my loan means that somebody else is also going to be able to do this program. Um, at the same time, life happens, right? Somebody might lose their job, there could be some financial hardship, so because we're a nonprofit, we try to build in mechanisms of support to enable that individual to withdraw from the program and not have their credit score impacted negatively. Um, on very few occasions, somebody just doesn't pay at all, um, but we have a mechanism in place to protect all the participants in the group, so we have a loan loss reserve fund that ensures that everyone will still get their loan, um, and they're able to apply for DACA regardless of how other people perform in the lending circle. Disney Foundation is uh, committed to match 30% up to 70 students. Yeah, and overall. Can you guys, you guys want to expand the programs even when the matching fund runs out from the Disney, or, or would, so would you plan? I hope so. I hope so, because I know that um, there's certainly more uh, than 70 eligible Korean American dreamers here in LA. Um, LA and the Bay Area have the lar like one of the largest demographics of eligible dreamers. The Korean American community is one of the largest um, uh, that could take advantage of this. Um, if we can show progress, right, if we can get 70 folks in this store tomorrow, um, you know, eager to sign up with Jenny, then we can, you know, fundraise additionally. Um, and that's what we're eager to do because what we've built is the, you know, in anticipation of greater immigration reform with expansion of DACA and DAPA, we want to be prepared um, to respond to the community. Without an opportunity like this, it means that our community members are going to um, rely on alternative lenders um, that are going to charge high interest rates. So, can you spell your full name and your title? Sure, um, and I can give you a card as well. It's M O H A N Mohan K A N U N G O Kanungo, and I'm the director of programs and engagement. Mission Asset Fund. Correct.
저분한테 받아요. 지금 기사가 왔으니까. Somebody wants to pay on time to build their credit, but if they don't pay on time, their credit is going to get impacted negatively. And that's why we partner with KRC. You know, we're not a bank. We're not, um, you know, we're not in this to make money. We're a community organization, but we can't build that relationship with the local community. It's KRC that already has that relationship. And so we're providing this platform, this technology, in order to offer this service to the community. Thank you. 